everybody, I'm Karina. Lately I was surfing YouTube and I came upon a video 10 strangest unsolved discoveries in video games on the Odd Header channel. And there is an interesting theory about playing Maniac Manson on the NES console. This is an adventure game with a point-and-click interface. The trick is that the video says about the place on the wall, and if you click on it suddenly, a keyboard will come out to enter the code. Then, whatever you enter, the game alarms turn off and the house quickly explodes. A popular theory says that the keyboard was a part of a Pepsi advertising campaign and players could find the code on a Pepsi bank, use it and win the real prizes, but unfortunately Pepsi refused at the last moment. But is it so? The purpose of the keyboard is still a mystery. Well, it's a bullshit. This is not an easter egg. This is not any Pepsi advertising company. This is a protection from piracy. Really? What protection if the game didn't have any code? It's enough to run the DOS version of the game, to go the armored door where will be a code entry panel and enter the code that was with the game. But if you are a pirate and you do not have the code and you enter the wrong code, alarms will turn off and soon we will see the same ending as on NES. In reality, this is a bug and not a secret, just the rest of the PC version of the game. But here the question arises what actually will be if you choose the right code in the NES version of the game. Let's think. We have the keyboard, it is in the wall, if the right combination exists, then the alarm just won't turn off? Or we can come into the wall, the space-time continuum will be disrupted, the black hole in the Virgil constellation will expand to the Earth, and then we are all fucked. The probability of this of course is extremely small, but who knows?